This is number six from the antiderivative word problems um, worksheet. The rate at which people enter into the auditorium uh, for a rock concert is modeled by function r, given uh, by r of t. r of t is measured in people per hour. No one is in the auditorium at time t equals 2. When the door is open, the door closes and the concert begins at t equals 2. Part A, how many people are in the auditorium when the concert begins? So, uh, concert begins at uh, 2 hours um, in at t equals 2. So, we have to accumulate this rate from 0 to 2 um, uh, since this is only uh, people per hour. So, if you accumulate people per hour over the course of 2 hours from 0 to 2, uh, we can use definite integrals to find that for us. And then, so definite integral from 0 to 2 of r of t is, will be 980. Okay. Find the time uh, in which the rate is at a maximum. So, the rate is at a maximum. Um, it's not saying when the number of people is at a maximum, it's asking for the rate is at a maximum. So rate at a maximum, that's asking for the rate of change of trying to optimize or trying to maximize the rate of change of R. So that means we're trying to figure out when is R prime equal to zero. So we want to find out when R prime is equal to zero. We can uh, set R prime equal to zero. So here's R of T, we can set R prime equal to zero and then solve for T. And what we can do is we can uh, find the derivative and then put it into the calculator, graph the equation, and simply look for the x-intercept. And when we set r prime equal to zero, um, uh, t is equal to, or r prime is equal to zero when t is 1.36296 hours. So this is the potential place where the rate is at a maximum. We also have to test endpoints as well. So we need to plug 0 and 2, as well as 1.36926, all into R of t, and figure out which one has the highest rate. And we see the highest rate will occur at uh, time 1.36. So maximum uh, rate is 854 people per hour at 1.362 hours. Part C, the total wait time is found by adding the number of the number, sorry, adding the time each person waits starting at the time the person enters the auditorium and ending when the concert begins. The function w models the wait time for all people who enter the auditorium before time t. The derivative is given by w prime is equal to 2 minus t r of t. Find w2 minus w of 1. So we want to find w2 minus w1 and we're, and we're given w prime. But what we can do is we can find the definite integral of w prime. If we find the definite integral of w prime from 1 to 2 then we can get to w2 minus w1. That's using the first theorem of calculus. So this is what w prime is equal to. Um, we can use uh, the first theorem of calculus to find w2 minus w1 because we know that the definite integral from 1 to 2 of w prime will simply be um, the antiderivative of w prime, which is w of t, and then just plug in the upper and lower bounds. So w2 minus w of 1. So we essentially just have to find the definite integral of w prime from 1 to 2. So we have something um, tangible here that we can use to evaluate the definite integral. So the definite integral from 1 to 2 of 2 minus t r of t. r of t is again um, given to us at the beginning of the problem here. Okay, 1380 t squared minus 675 t cubed. And then we just enter this in our calculator and that tells us that uh, the total wait time for everybody is going to be 387.5 hours. Part D, on average, how long does a person wait? Uh, so uh, if we want to find out the total, um, the average wait time, we have to go through average value theorem. So uh, what we can then do is think of it in terms of a uh, number of people, right? So this is the total wait time that we just found during 87 hours. So if we take the total amount, total wait time divided by the total number of people, then that will give us an average wait time per person, right? So 387.5 hours is the result of the definite integral. We divide it by the number of people who are waiting, and so average is out to be about uh, 0.775 hours, or roughly about 45 minutes uh, per person um, waiting um, uh, for the concert to begin.